today's thing is trying to get all of this to go inside of this. Now this doesn't seem like a huge task because this doesn't seem like a lot of stuff and this seems like a big thing, but this is all really expensive, really sensitive stuff. So it has to be padded and it has to be packed in a way to where I could throw this under a plane if I had to and everything is gonna be okay. So for this Europe thing that I'm doing in about a week, I've gotta take all of my camera gear, including this whole setup, with me everywhere I go. I'm gonna be in a dozen different cities and several different countries over the span of three weeks filming every single day to create videos every single day. I've gotta be able to have my heavy camera gear with some tripods. I've gotta be able to record great audio at a moment's notice. Long story short, I have to have everything that I have with me at all times, and it's gotta be easy to carry, it's gotta be secure, it's gotta be safe. That's what I've gotta figure out. All right, so here's what I've gotta bring. I've gotta bring my Canon XA20 camcorder. This thing's a heavy hitter, but it's also super expensive. This has to stay really protected. Charging cord for the Canon. I've got the Rode NT4 mic. This is also a precious item. This has to stay protected. It's a little smaller, it's gonna be a little easier. And of course, we've got the cords with it. We've got the mount, windscreen, and this is gonna run into my Zoom H4n. The two other things that are gonna go in here besides some other miscellaneous stuff are these two tripods. Now, these are durable. These could, you know, I could swing on my back, I could throw them in a backpack, but since I'm gonna be moving around so much, I need to be able to have them in here so I can pick up and go at a moment's notice and it's not gonna be an issue for me to carry all my stuff. So I've got this Mifoto tripod, which is like a bigger tripod, and then I've got a smaller version of it, which I'm gonna use to either hold the H4n or side shots. Now the star of the show is this guy. This is the Pelican 1510 case. This thing is waterproof. It's super durable. It comes with pick and pluck foam so I can fix the insides however I want them. They even have wheels and a handle so I can drag it kind of like a carry-on. This thing is super, super awesome. It's super durable. It's gonna be great for this purpose. Okay, so the first step to laying out a case like this is to just kind of put things on top of the foam and see where they could fit. So this Pelican case has three things of foam. One that's gonna go on top, it's gonna keep things tight fits right in the top here. Then we have two layers of pick and pluck foam. You can kind of see here, there's these little blocks and you can pull out these blocks and make an opening for anything that you need. So this is really handy so you can create custom layouts. This Pelican case comes with two of them. So at this point, I'm just gonna try to set stuff down in the case on top of this layer of foam to see how it could fit. So we can already see that space is at a premium here. We've put most of our items in and there's almost no room. Though for something like this, you don't want a lot of room. Things get damaged when they move around. So you, we want things to be really tight in the case so they don't move around. But we also want them to have enough padding and protection. So if they do move around, they bump into padding and not into hard sides of the case. Another consideration is how the case is actually organized. So. This right here is the bottom of the case. So when I roll the case, when I'm kind of rolling it like a carry-on, this stuff is gonna to be towards the bottom. So I wanna be careful about what is at the bottom because you know, if, if gravity is doing its work and pushing things down, I wanna make sure that it's not pushing down on anything that can break. I'm gonna play around with a couple of different setups. All right, I think I have the solution. So I'm gonna utilize vertical space here. So this will fit here, and that's gonna give an extra layer of protection between the camera and the bottom of this case. So this will stand up, camera goes here, tripod's gonna go here. Because of the depth of the case, this will also fit on top, so that won't be an issue. And then the NT4 is gonna go right here. Then this foam is gonna go on top. I'll have to etch out areas for all of this stuff to poke through, but this will be an extra layer before the case gets closed. So now comes the really scary part where I have to start actually picking away the foam. You can't go back on this. So I generally draw an outline by just picking off just a little bit, and I always do it one square shorter than I think I need to do it, because I want things to be very tight, and that gives me some more room if it actually needs more room. 
I can always take more away. I can't add them back. So all you have to do is just kind of get in there and push the foam apart and it starts to break through. I try to be really careful because I don't want to break these apart because I want this to stay nice and structurally sound. I think it's also really important to try to keep whatever you're pulling out in one solid piece. That way you could use it to stuff in other places. You don't wanna just pick it out and pull it out and just like throw it away by breaking it up, you know, in a way that you can't use it. So I try to keep things solid. So this is a really nice solid block to have because I can make this into something else, stuff it in other places to keep things secure. Now let's test this. So this fits in really snugly. This is exactly what I wanted. You know, you could see that we could create like another block right here if we wanted because this is sticking out just a little bit. But the fact that everything stays really still is the most important thing. Plus, we're gonna have another one of these that sits on top. So this is gonna be all right. All right, next we're gonna make room for this and this. If this isn't satisfying, I don't know what is. All right, so we've got a spot for the tripods and the zoom. Let's make a spot for the camera. All right, so decision time. This fits really snugly, but there is some pressure in some areas where I don't really want pressure. Now, it's, it's nice because it keeps it solid and keeps it firm and keeps it in place, but I don't know if I want to have pressure on some certain areas. Let me show you. There's a little pressure on this area, and then there's a little pressure on the window right here. So everything's pretty snug, but I don't know if I want to create a little cutout here or a little cut out here. Because this is going to go on top and I'm going to create another opening for it, I think I'm going to create a little space right here for this and another little space for the visor right here. Alright, so now this all fits in nice and snug. Now it does move a little bit. Now I don't really like that. Now I'll be able to combat that when I put this on top. I'll also be able to use a block like this to create some some things where I can maybe shove some stuff down in here when I pack the camera up to keep it from moving from side to side. But everything is protected now and everything is, there's gonna be no pressure in any certain points. All right, the last major thing to put in place is a spot for this mic. So I'm gonna store the mic in a bag like this. This will allow me to create some pressure within the pouch so things don't move around so much, and then this pouch can just slip easily right into the case. This fits in really snugly. Now it warps things just a little bit, but it may be fine once everything is in, because you know it's great that it doesn't move at all. So let's get everything else in and see how it looks. This all feels pretty good. I could make a little spot right here if I want for some accessories. So things are looking good, so I want to go ahead and get this piece formed so it can fit right on top and keep things even more secure. So in general, the thing to do is to simply duplicate this piece, make this piece look exactly like that, because then everything will fit in nice and snugly, and then of course, keep these big pieces because they can fit in on top in some areas and so everything stays really firm. All right, so I've got two matching ones. I'm gonna put one in the bottom here, 
put everything in and then see how it fits right on top. So here you are, everything fits really snugly. Now, the good news is, is that, so we have some space here, so I could take this block and I could put something right here so this all stays tight. I've got this, which stays really nice and firm, but I'd like to have some more protection, so I'll use some of this block to get in there and make sure this all stays really snug. This is not going anywhere. This is not going anywhere. I think I will make a little spot right here for some accessories, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll be able to wrap this case up. All right, check it out. Everything fits super snugly, everything's in a great position. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little block that can go right here, so that'll keep this from moving up and down. Not that it really will, but just in case. And then I wanna create a few pieces of foam that can go inside here and keep this very, very solid. All right, so here's what I've come up with. I've just taken a couple of blocks and ripped them up so they could surround this camera a bit more. And I just took one block right here to fit in so this stays snug. Everything else is gonna be just fine. Now, this may seem or feel a little excessive, and this also takes away a little bit from the convenience of you know, just throwing the camera in and out of the case. But if I have to unexpectedly throw this thing under the plane, I'm gonna be really glad that I had these little extra pieces in here to keep things extra firm and snug. All right, so here's the moment of the truth. Let's close the case and give it a roll. This is pretty slick.